Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Drunk Zaku, who uh, Sonic introduced us to, and we've been uh, playing uh, games with on Friday nights and having a good time. So, uh, he is in the Zaku tank, which is, uh, uh, which is, you know, a, in this case, a 300 support in a very support heavy uh, environment. As you can see, there's, uh, a gym cannon, a desert gym, and a gym sniper custom. So, yeah, a lot of supports on this team. Sonic, is, meanwhile, is a pseudo support uh, w as a Zuda using the uh, anti ship gun. And, yeah, as you can see, Zaku tank can do pretty solid damage. Uh, it is. Uh, it is only a single cannon, unlike the gun tank series, so it uh, can it goes through its shells a little bit slower. I forget whether it has a, sh a smoke dispenser or if that's just the Zaku cannon, but I want to say the uh, tank has one too. Been a long time since I used it, honestly, so I don't remember. Good damage though on that gym. Followed up and hit it, hit the hit it square with the cluster shot. Here comes a Doug Schneider Freet, which is. Uh, trying to get to Zaku, and may yeah, it's going to survive long enough just to get maybe one shot in, yeah. And, uh, uh number three was able to uh, get it off of him, so. And, let's see. Now, yeah, back to the fighting. Okay, they dodged the first shot, did not dodge the second. Because, yeah, there, well, there's only so much dodge you, uh, you can do at one time. That, I believe, is a Zaku half cannon. And that was, uh, I think I think that might have been the uh, gym command light armor that uh, that Zaku just killed as it was coming up on him. Either way, yeah, there are uh, uh, there's a bunch of stuff here to uh, to shoot and a bunch of stuff shooting back naturally. Boy, you know, very incisive uh, commentary, Rob. Good going. Um, but yeah, uh, the uh, cluster bombs I. Have I, I just like those just because you can pretty much fire continuously between the two kinds. But they, of course, are harder to aim and harder to get the most possible damage out of. So, uh, but, but again, they're fun and I was happy to see them, uh, the Heavy Gear Doga get them because it's been a while, I think, since we got a new mobile suit that used those. Probably before that, uh, the newest thing, Domnomitus, I believe. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty sure the Nomadus has it, and uh, before that was probably the uh, newest was probably the Hildolfer, which you know the Dom Nomadus is made from uh, leftover parts of the Hildolfer, so that kind of makes sense. And let's see, Good, yeah, just uh, so far team is sticking together fairly well, um, keeping you know keeping things off of. Uh, off of uh, the slower supports while, you know, just doing really significant damage to pretty much everything in sight. Let's see. That is... I'm not sure what that is, the way it's lobbing missiles like that. Um, yeah, I'm still not sure what that is, but it whatever it was, it was a general. So... Oh, bet it was a marine Zaku. Yeah, of course. What, what am I thinking? Uh, well, aimed shot there, and it hit the shield just, like, square on. I mean, it didn't blow it up. But kill was gotten and assist was uh, earned, and there's another quick kill. So 5,100 to 3,000, and there, yeah, there's somebody way over by the base. It looks like they are providing support was for somebody who was in the base. This is probably about the best kind a uh, time and place to be planting the bomb. You're only far enough back that. Uh, you know, far enough down on points that you will get a uh, even or a lead if, when the uh, bomb goes up. And uh, if you're lucky, you may be able to split up the enemy team a little bit, which is kind of looking what uh, like what has happened here. Because, uh, yeah, Doug Schneiderfried is closing in on Zaku, who tackled it before it could uh, before it could swing on him the first time. But yeah, it just landed its full combo. So yeah, that that was that was hurting. And. Yeah, uh, I was about to say, it's probably going to pull the shotgun now, and yeah, just, you can only do so much w uh, when a raid get, uh, gets on you, and Sonic was uh, busy uh, with the other one, which, yeah, trying, I think that might be a white dingo gym, not sure. Either way, yeah, um, that was, 
Like I said, that was the best possible time to go base bombing. They've now got a 500-point lead, but there's still three minutes remaining, so it remains to be seen how much that actually means. Now, is that as I think a Marine Zaku? Sure looks like it. Yeah, pretty sure. Good punch. And yeah, it's always nice when you can land the, the, uh, the downswing on something like this. Yep, he is just w hoping that it will... Uh, Yep, well, it turned its back to him, uh, which is about the best you could ask for, so... And another kill there. Yeah, this is going really well. And, yep, uh, his team has retaken the lead. And, yeah, they are they are holding out pretty well here, so... Let's see, cluster, uh, cluster shot missed that one. I want to say that the solid shot also has a slightly longer range, but I don't remember. It's been a while. I forgot that the machine guns uh, had that much reach on the tank, though. That's good. And hopefully I haven't been getting too far from the mic and uh, this hasn't all turned into just a random murmur, because I'm, you know, I still am, you know, looking for a tripod and where to put it and all that stuff just to uh, get the mic in front of my face more comfortably. But, you know, I'm feeling better, but I also don't want to push my luck for too long. So yeah, Zaku just sent for help, which is a good idea. And pulling back. Shotgun did not stun. He was far enough away that that's, uh, that uh, did not stop him. So that's good. Uh, let's see. He and number six are both kind of uh, a little bit delicate here. But okay, well, cluster shot killed the, uh, killed the Doug Schneid. So that's uh, a small relief. And now back to uh, the Marine Zaku, which, yeah. Good place for the cluster. Yeah, I was about to say, that'll probably do solid damage to the both of them, and it did. Got the assist on that one, and up there is something else. Yeah, I imagine to play tanks in the trenches, you have to do a lot of hopping to just keep things reasonable. But, let's see, there is a kill by number four. And, let's see... Yep, good, uh, good uh, damage. The cluster shots, of course, favor hitting the legs too, just because of how they uh, how they work. So yeah, you, you can hopefully stop people from being able to get up to you and kill you. So let's see, 35 seconds left. It's uh, still relatively close. Enemy teams within 2,000 points. Enemy teams within 1,700 points. Uh, yeah, but getting some more kills here. So that is uh, they are. Uh, Zaku's team is uh, pulling away again. Looks like, uh, yeah, looks like he and Sonic are hanging in there in particular with pretty solid health. And that just leaves the, uh, the Gym 2's in good health, and that just leaves number 6 in the Gym Cannon to hopefully stay alive with, like, 5 seconds left. And, yep, everybody's... Okay, well, that had no legs, so... And that is the end of the round, so... Okay, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, good and solid. So let's take a look at the stats. And what do we got? We have got uh, 3,000 points for Zaku. Um, Jim Sniper Custom did 98,000 damage. Eight kills, two deaths. And yeah, he was just barely behind the Jim Sniper Custom. Very nice. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Now we need the construction version of the Zaku tank, which has no guns on it and uh, just and claws for hands. Let's just make that a raid and, br and bring that in.